After hunting six boxes in my last dime time hunt and not getting any silver, I think we're going to have to call on the Silver Genie for some help. Hopefully, he's willing to help again. Come on, Genie. Help me out. Oh, it's you again. Let me guess. Quarters? No, 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 Genie. I don't need help with quarters. I was hoping you could help me with dimes. Okay. I can help you with dimes. Yes! The genie is going to help me with dimes. That means it's dime time. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, the genie is willing to help us with some dimes and we've got three dime boxes in an attempt to find some silver. Now my last dime time hunt was pretty tough. We looked through six boxes and did not find any silver dimes, although silver dimes have been decent to start 2022. That being said, this is gonna be box 17, 18, and 19 on the year. And of course, if we struggle in these boxes, I am picking up a couple of more and we'll add those to this hunt. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and grab the first box, bring it down, and do a live opening. Now, obviously, I can tell by the holes in the bottom that we had circulated dimes, so I didn't need to open this box, but I did have to check these two, and they are circulated. So we definitely have a three box hunt. Let's go ahead and crack this first one open right now and see if we have any lucky enders on the top side. All right, come on. Well, I don't see any lucky enders and we typically don't get any silver dime enders in our hunts anyway, but we do have a beat up 80s dime there. All right, we're gonna get right to the hunt. I'm excited about this box. Not so excited about the tall boxes. They've been rough for me on dimes lately, but it's what we got, so we'll have to search them next. Let me go ahead and start cracking rolls, and if we find something worth mentioning, of course, I will bring you guys in. Well, it didn't take long to have a find. It's not silver, but roll one, the fourth dime in, is going to be a low-minted 2009 Denver dime. We haven't been seeing a lot of these anymore lately, so I'll definitely take it, add it to the board. Nice to start with something. Hopefully, that's the start of something great. Well, I don't know when the Silver Genie's good fortune is going to kick in, but the first box has been hunted, and other than that first roll find, and then a few rolls later finding a 1970 Denver minted proof reverse dime in decent shape, that's all we got. We're 0 for 1. Let me clear away the discards, and let's try box 2, and fingers crossed, the Genie will come through. Well, that was probably one of the worst dime boxes I've ever hunted. So right now, we are 0 for 2. There was nothing in that box, and now my eyes are tired, so I'm going to take a break. But after the break, we'll move on to the last dime box for this three-box hunt. Unless there's no good finds in it, then like I said, I'll marry some more boxes to the hunt in hopes that the genie can help me out. Maybe I should have wished for dimes instead of just asked for some help. We'll have to see how it goes. I'll be back if and when... We have a find in that dime box, or I'll be back with another look at an empty box. Roll number 17 of box three, and I was already chalking this box up to another skunk box because there has been a lot of uncirculated dimes in this box. But in roll 17, I think we might have a silver dime right there. And if we do, it will stop the eight box skunk streak we're currently on. And there is a Denver Mint on the reverse, so we know it's going to be a 1964 or earlier dime, and it will be 90% silver. And it's a 64D. We have found silver. We will not go quietly into the night. Thank you, Jeannie. Back to the hunt. We're on roll number 31, and I just wanted to give you an idea of the amount of uncirculated dimes we're seeing in these rolls. So definitely a tougher box because of that. Luckily, we've already found silver, but doesn't look promising if that's how the rolls are going to stay through the rest of the box. Anyway, just wanted to give you an idea what we're up against. Hopefully, we find one more. Well, box number 19 of the year and the third for the hunt. 
has been hunted and it was a tough box because of the sheer amount of 2021 Denver uncirculated dimes we had in it. But we were fortunate enough to score a silver dime to snap our eight box skunk streak. And I'll take that. Obviously, I would have loved to see more. Obviously, it would have been nice to see some varieties, proofs, foreigns, you name it. But that was a tough three box hunt in general. But we did get silver and I'm not going to get mad at that. We only found that 09 on the very first roll of this three box hunt and no 09 since then. Crazy. And I did see a few other 70D proof reverses, but they're in rough shape. And I've now limited only keeping the ones in decent shape for my collection. So we'll go ahead and keep that one. At the end of the day, I hate ending a hunt with 19 boxes on the year. So no matter what, I will marry at least another one box to this hunt. If we get more than that, I'll marry a couple of boxes to the hunt. I'll be back if and when we have another dime box and hopefully the genie can give us one more silver. Well, I'm back. I was able to get another dime box this week. This is going to be box number 20 for the year and number four of the hunt. Hopefully we get some goodies. Now, I didn't need to open it ahead of time because I can see from the holes in the bottom that it was circulated dimes. So I figured we'd go ahead and pop the top together. Hopefully we get an ender, but if not, I'll take anything inside the rolls because it's been a little bit of a tough hunt so far with these dime boxes. Well, I don't see anything silvery, but there is an odd colored one right there. But at the end of the day, nothing silver standing out. Let me go ahead and start cracking rolls and hopefully the genie can help us out and get us one more silver or at least some kind of find before the end of the hunt. Well, we're on roll number 26, and it looks like the Silver Genie might have helped again. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there in the middle. Just about in the middle. Looks like a Silver Dime. And it's going to be, looks like it's silver, a 1950 Denver. We'll take it. Second Silver Dime of the hunt, and that makes me happy. We're on roll 28, and we're going to have another lower mintage dime. 2009 Denver again. You can barely see the date. Sometimes these are tough to see, but I'll hold on to it because it is lower mintage. That's our second one of those, although the first one's a lot nicer. We do have two 70D proof reverses, and I pulled aside a 70D non-proof in case we need to talk about that later. And, of course, there's two silver dimes so far. We still have 22 rolls left, including this one. Hopefully, there's more goodies. Well, that's going to do it for this last box of this dime time hunt. Box four was actually not that bad. We did get another 70D proof reverse, another 09 D dime, and another piece of silver. So we basically doubled what we had in the first three boxes after hunting the fourth box. Two 09s, two 70 proof reverses, two silver coins. I did pull aside a pretty nice 1967. It's not the DDO, but I'll hold on to it because it's nice. And then that odd colored one. It almost looks like it's missing the plating, but at the end of the day, it's been damaged. It looks like it's been chemically treated or something. I'll be tossing that back. Anyway, I just wanted to show it to you. Hopefully you enjoyed that four box dime time hunt. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching. The 2022 Silver Jar has been starving for silver lately, especially in my quarter and dime hunts. Luckily, we've got a few to feed them.